Welcome to another edition of GSC Diginet as conference play began this past week on the gridiron and number 19 UWA and the University of North Alabama both moved to 4-1 overall, 2-0 in conference play. West Alabama picked up a big victory over West Georgia, who's now 0-1 to start off conference play, 2-2 overall. As running back Matt Willis became the school's all-time leading rusher, exiting the evening with more than 2,100 yards gained now as a UWA Tiger. Meanwhile, UNA celebrates a homecoming win this past weekend over a few Future GSC member Shorter. Shorter now 2-3 and three overall. They lose their first ever conference countable contest 41-0 as the Lions hit for the most points in a game this season, led by 21 unanswered in the second quarter. Valdosta State and Delta State played non-conference matchups. Valdosta moved to 3-2 and two overall, 1-0 and in conference play, winning 58-10 over NAIA foe Edward Waters as they gained 352 yards rushing and a school record tying seven touchdown runs. DSU, however, did not fare as well. They fell to Lone Star foe Abilene Christian in Thursday night's GSC TV Game of the Week, 34-28. Even though they outgained Abilene 498 yards to 320, the hosts, Delta State, committed too many turnovers down the stretch. In GSC Volleyball, once again, getting out to a big start is the University of West Florida. The four-time GSC champions are going for their seventh NCAA appearance this season. And Melissa Walter has them going strong. They usually start off tough overall as they're 9-6. They play a very tough non-conference schedule before conference play gets going. But in conference play, they're 6-1 overall, followed by Christian Brothers and 5-1 shorter at 4-1. It's going to be very interesting down the stretch to see who makes it to the 2012 GSC Championships in volleyball. We'll have some soccer and cross country in upcoming episodes this month. In the meantime, I'm Jim Cavallin. This is GSC Diginet.